one from its biology. If you taste it, Lynn, can you demonstrate? Put it on your tongue. Don't eat it. Just mm. what? We... Salty. Very salty. Super salty. This plant has uh, like mechanism is okay. The ground is super salty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do I do? If it's super salty, all the water that I have would go to my roots. I need to take water from down up. So what he takes, he takes the salt that is around its roots, put it on its little tiny leaves, and then in the night when it's just a bit moisty, it attracts all the moist in the air, and it actually creates little local rain. It water itself. Mm -hmm. So first of all, very nice technique of saving yourself, but also it's salty water, so it kills every other little weed that try to... Uh, they can compete for Yes, water. exactly. I, I created this water, it's for me. And you know, he's not Zionist, he doesn't care about any other... He does care about <laughs> himself. But another interesting fact about the tamarack tree is a different story. And that's the story when I tell kids when they want to be really rich. And I want to show them that they also can be inspired by plants, how they could be rich, maybe in the future, or maybe change the universe in some way. The universe. Uh, the universe, yes. The entire universe. Yeah, no, let's with the world. So I want to tell you a story about... <laughs> Uh, a research that I just met uh, a few years ago, the researchers, and they were talking about biodiesel. You know, biodiesel is supposed to be some one of the solutions to the fact that we don't have fuel, enough fuel in the world. The people that have fuel are the bad guys with uh, a lot of power and different opinions about us, how the world should be run. And some of the re like the solutions to maybe world peace would be different alternative energies. It could be from the sun, wind, so on. And some of the solutions came from biodiesel. What the problem with biodiesel today? It's bullshit. It's like cornfields. Yeah. <laughs> I can eat this corn. I can drink the water that's been pla like watered with. Like it doesn't make sense to take something that you can eat, the resources that you can drink, and then drive on it. Doesn't make sense. So Israelis came up with this thinking, okay, we want something that could grow on shitty land that you can't grow anything else. I want to use sewage water or really salty water or some water that I can't use for drinking or anything else. And I'm, I'm Israeli, I'm impatient. I wanted to make it fast, yes. <laughs> okay? So they, they, some of them consulted, you know, people who know this uh, plants that live uh, in the desert and they came up with this tamarix. They did experience in Darava the and they realized that by planting it on area that is super salty, you can't grow anything else it's in southern Arava and watering it with salty water, it grows to 15 feet in six months. Wow. <laughs> okay, like five meters in six months. So this one is really, you know, sad and here like uh -huh, because it doesn't have any water. But if you give him water, not even good ones, it grows really fast. So technically, maybe this tamarix could be the next solution. But the point is not the tamarix, it's the fact that when you hike and you travel and you've been... A solution yes. to uh, fuel, Oil. alternative energies oh, yeah. and so on, because you can create biodiesel from it. Mm. So that's what they're working on University of Tel Aviv. <coughs> but what I'm saying is, I want when people are hiking, to go later on and realize that this hike wasn't only pure fun or challenging, whatever, it opened their brain to creativity. When I need to think about a solution in economics, in uh, physics, in many things, I can give you, like stick with me for a week and I will give you all kinds of business models that you see in the nature. If you come with a large background with a different creative ideas, you can do something that somebody that sits in a computer room all day long can't think of. And if you do it and you feel like, oh, this is because I hike with my friends in a place that you feel connected, it makes it like a bigger, like every time that Aaron tells me come to San Francisco, like I like San Francisco, but you know what? I enjoy Israel, even with the bad and good and you know, all the things that I can think. I feel here, like I walk and I feel like this is my living room. Like even though I haven't been here for a long time, I feel, you know, I, know. I feel home. We've come up with a few new ideas. Here. Okay. <laughs>